Melissa with the stock swoosh and I'm here reviewing the target put. This was one that I had done an option letter in and it was out till March 17th. Today is the 9th. It's got, it's got a week and it is, wow, 57 was the strike. Actually, I gave two, 58 and 57s. I think most people did the 57s. So it's $2, two and a half bucks under the strike. Um, and you could have you could have shorted day traded this. This was such a great. I yeah. knew this was. I told you. I even told the room. And as a day trade, yeah. it did not work. But I said this is an amazing gap, people. But it was a loss on the day as a day trade. But I said this is a good one. Boom. And look at it. It's still going. Now again, did you know huh? How did I know that? Because of my system. <laughs> How do I know it? Because of the gap rating. Because of the gap rating. Because of the gap rating in here. And I rated the gap and it was a good gap. So I knew it would follow through and continue. And it didn't make any sense that it didn't work that day. Other than the fact that the bottom line is that people that are day traders love to do gap fills. That doesn't work as a strategy consistently to make money. It also never fills the gap anyways. What happened was people sold off into this. And then no more selling happened on that day. But the selling came off after the fact because the fact is the stock really did open on that day and still close on that day at 58.77, which everybody saw. You saw that. So if you didn't sell any more, if you didn't sell out of it that day, even after the day closed, you see this. And if you're in it long, you see the fact that it's there and you're like, holy crap, this is a piece of crap now. Mm -hmm. And you sell it and it's being sold all the way down. It's being sold, it's being shorted, it's falling off a planet. I mean, I did say, gosh, it's through 55. 52, you know, they, there's so many different numbers in sight for this. So again, we had a discussion in this the other day and we did a video on this then. You didn't do the put in this, you didn't do it. If you were here with me this week, you would have done it or the week I called it, Philip did it and he got out of it. And he's probably upset he's still not in it, but do you see how that's crazy? Because he ended up making 1600 bucks in it, you know? But he could have made probably another thousand. Actually, no, he had, 4,000 shares, and so it's two and a half dollars in the money, no time value. Let's just see what he would have made if he'd still be in it. 10 grand, mm. he would have made. Wow. But his problem is that he doesn't, he doesn't take profits. Mm. So, so you don't have that problem. You're, you, know, you don't have that problem. You just are not doing all the trains. If I call another put, are you gonna do it? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I will. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. But you still have to have the right, correct money management for these. You know, it's a good call. It's, it's, it was a good call. You know why it was a good call? Because of this. Yeah. Because that of this. Was on a Friday too. Well, no, it was a Thursday. Yeah, I Thursday, made the call yeah. on the Friday. The yeah. Thursday was the gap. Friday yeah. then was the day that it, that I made the options call. Yes, in the open in the morning. Or maybe I sent it out that night, but I might have sent it out after four or something to do it the next day. I don't remember if I did it early in the morning or late at night. Anyways, you 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 know you know why this works. It's just you're not used to looking at charts enough. You've been doing these options and you just look on your phone and you take it when you get the email. You gotta look at the chart. You look you gotta rate the gap. You rate the gap, and if the gap rate's good, you can do it as a swing trade, you can do it as an option trade, you can do it as a day trade. You gotta, if you rate the gap, it's gonna give you the conviction, yeah, this is good. And then you're not gonna be bothered by this thing here. See, this is what set everybody off. Mm. But it was a great call, and it didn't set me off. And this is where you're gonna get it when you get the conviction and you're doing it. But you called it before the gap. I did, but, no, 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 I didn't call it before the gap. I, I didn't, no, 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 I didn't call it before the gap. You had to wait for it to gap, and then you rate the gap. What do you mean? Oh, I thought... I didn't even look at the charts. So I can't really say. That's okay. <laughs> I, thought I that might have said in the room, I think this is going to gap down. But okay. I didn't give... A, I didn't tell anybody to do anything. Okay. or make it, I might have said, this is probably going to gap down or something. Okay. But I didn't make the option call till till this day. Oh, to that oh, to that red bar. Yes, but oh, I okay. think I said oh, right. I this looks like a chart. good one. Okay. I don't think I we were looking at it. We were yes. Yeah. That was the week before when you were in the room and I said, "Oh, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, but this looks good." Yeah. And then boom, because remember the one guy was going long it. Mm. Remember? He was going long this and here's a swing trade. I said, "Oh my goodness, don't go long it." Boop, boop, boop. And then it got down and I said, you didn't go long it, did you? And he said he was long it, but he killed it. He like scalped it, but you know, it was yeah. not a long. Anyways, this looks like it's going to zero. So, <laughs> oh, 
So anyways, it's very, very interesting because there's very few options trades that I've called to the downside. You're right about that in this bullish that's market. Yeah, that too. That yeah. Oh, but if I do, then it's good. <laughs> yeah. If I do, then chances are there's something that I see um, that's noteworthy. But you can always go and rate the gap yourself. And then if you like it, you do it. And if you don't, you don't. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, this is Melissa with the Stock Swish. Just looking here at the target. It's amazing. It's really, really good. Have a great day, everyone. And email me at melissathestockswish.com for more information.